Okay. Uh, hello, everybody. Uh, welcome. Welcome to our fourth session of today. Uh, and welcome to the workshop, workshop stage. I hope you had a nice time today. And uh, the more, more, uh, more interesting topics are coming. Uh, so, uh, our next topic and our next lovely speaker is Nenad Nenostanic. And uh, he will be talking to us about innovation and creativity in Agile coaching. Uh, so I'm really familiar with with uh, this topic, and I'm glad that I will have the opportunity to uh, to listen to Nenad what he has to say about this. Uh, I hope you will enjoy will enjoy this topic. And uh, I would also like to invite everyone who is watching uh, this workshop workshop uh, on Match About. Uh, to join us here in Zoom, uh, because the workshop functions so uh, in that way that we will have interaction, we will go to some Zoom rooms, so all of you who are basically watching this on Matchabout, you will not be able to participate. Uh, when we are in rooms, you will not be able to see anything, so please join us. You have the link of this Zoom meeting in the description on the Matchabout, so just go to Agenda, Find, uh, the session of this workshop, so uh, innovation and creativity in agile coaching, and please do join us. Uh, I hear more people are coming, so uh, I'm pleased about that. And I would now like to uh, welcome again Nenad Nenostanic. So, uh, Nenad, the, the mic is yours. Go ahead. Okay. Thank you, Ivan. Um... First, a uh, warm welcome from me um, in Belgrade, from my home, uh, as we all, most of us in these days doing it. And I have a, a first confession to make. I am passionate about coaching, uh, especially as a competencies for agile coaches. I think that we are not using coaching techniques uh, as described by International Coaching Federation enough. Um, I think we have all wrap up with the operational works on a daily with our teams. And then sometimes we forget things. What is really a coaching about? If you are a scrum master, and especially our experience, I think that's the way we should all move to how to inspire, how to motivate teams, and how to ask more questions, and how we stop giving advice instead of leading our team to come up to solution on their own. So this session will be all about that. We will have a, a few exercises, so you can see perhaps what I do with my teams when I work with them, and I work with a lot of teams who are uh, coming from a different industries. I remember in 1997, a very popular uh, management 2.0. I worked in London for 14 years. And I was a global event and marketing manager for Chivas Regal. Um, and between other things, we will organize a tour of, of the big rock bands. For example, in 1990. In 1999, we worked with Metallica. And if you know how they were working in that times, that was a huge logistic nightmare. Everything from the huge concerts of 60, 70,000 people moving around. It was very interesting and demanding projects. So we didn't have time to ask the questions. We were just doing it what I was told to. Yeah, culturally, when you come from countries where we are from, we were always listen other people, right? And we were culturally stopped to ask questions. So naturally, when we move into the guiding the teams, teams expect from us to give them advice rather than dip into their creativity or innovation to ask the question. So. When the agility come around, you probably are familiar with, with these competencies. 
Um, one of the competencies is a coaching. And it is devised by International Coaching Federation means something. For me, if I'm partnering with my team and the members of my team, I create creatively a new reality for my team away from focusing on a result. Coaching gives me opportunity to focus on a process. How I'm gonna get these OKRs, how I will deliver the result from sprint to sprint. So coaching, it's essential part of my being. I am very passionate about this. Okay, both culturally, where I'm coming from, is very hard to tame my enthusiasm and work with the people. I just love to help people solving the issues or the problems. So this coaching comes naturally to me. Sorry, let me move to the next one. So let's have a workshop agreement. First, I would like you to open your mind. Why? Because the mind works the best, as a metaphorically speaking, if it opens like a parachute. Yeah? If the parachute closes, we know what's going to happen. Second part of it, I would like you to try to be in the present, in the now, and not worry about other things what you have later today or what's happened before this workshop. I would like you to participate fully in those exercises. And if you can have a pen and paper nearby you, that will be great. I know a lot, but very important um, things I need from you. OK, so when I talk with the highly engineered teams, they always like to have some kind of frame or a framework and when I talk about the coaching, which is more creativity, innovation, by talking about things which we need to do, there is a lot of stuff going on on the internet. I like this one because it's a short and is appropriate for this uh, workshop. So I will give you a little bit of the background, the way I think about coaching. So the first thing is building the trust with my team. I create environment where we can trust to each other, both individually and on a team level. How we react as a group on uh, sudden changes on a market or a sudden changes in, on a project plan. So I always ask my team or individuals in the team how they like to be coached. The way I talk to them, I'm very adaptable. And the coaching is all about a scrum master or an agile coach learn to be adaptable to other people, right? So coaching has a different techniques to the building of powerful questions in order you to understand more a members of your team, both individually and the group level, right? So the second thing when I talk in those coaching sessions is I try to discover what is the problem or how corporate politically correct wants to say issue. I try to discover the real issue, what is underneath what we're trying to achieve. In the second phase, I focus on coaching people, not the problem because when I focus on the people, I will try together to find what is the problem about. Because sometimes on the surface, the problem which we talk about is personal problem. And coaching helps me a lot to discover the real issue or the real problem. The third phase is I discover a different options. Yeah. So in order to keep momentum going, I support a team members. I like to have a lot of options, yeah, because I'm just psychologically like that. I like options. There is a lot of people who don't like options. Um, so the coaching 
with options is very useful tool because in the next phase we need to focus on the chosen options the options we want to deal with and i always ask a question like what are you going to do about this option right i'm trying to tame my advice trap i try to stop advising people right and then i helping them narrow down options so I can get team members or a team in the best case accountable for what we're trying to do, what we committed to, right? And the end, the short for um, CTA is commitment. Um, I like to finish the coaching session by writing something on the wall, right? So I can do that, especially in the rituals or ceremonies, like what is retrospective, okay? So one of the things as a coach, you need to ask always open questions. Open questions are questions who I don't finish with yes or no. And the easiest way to get this is what, how, who, where, and when. If you start sentences with these words, this is the easiest way you understand that is open question. So you can wake up creativity into the other people. Especially when you're doing options, you can uh, build, build that over the time. Okay. And then I have a descriptor questions like, Help me to understand more. Tell me more about that, whatever is problem or issue. Let me make sure I understand what you're saying. I am curious about what you just said. So could you describe further? They are helping sentences. So the open questions, you can have a, a creative conversation with your people, okay? Just to make sure that uh, um, we understand that, we will create the exercise. So in an exercise, I will split you in the rooms. I would like you to introduce each other, okay? So you can talk about your business or you can talk about personal, but what I would like to do in some point, you will have to ask and pick something from other person uh, conversation and say, I'm curious to find out more about whatever you pick from that conversation. Am I clear? Would you like to try? Yes. Okay. So let me try to move you into the rooms. The one who stays, he stays with me and then we can talk about it, okay? So let me try to create the breakout rooms. It's 13 of us. So I will create seven. Seven. I think I succeeded, I don't know. Did I manage guys?
Did I manage? Yeah. Ivan Ilmetrius. Ne nade si ti sa mnom u sobi. So for those who are, uh, I just got information that the guys on the stream are uh, uh, watching these two as we are exercising. So for you guys, I would like you just to think about it, um, about conversation you had uh, with somebody and maybe creatively, creatively see how your conversation will go other way if you are more curious about it. So I would like you to uh, brainstorm a little bit about the conversation you had in somewhere in the past. And then 
try to ask the same question and see how that will go. Ilijana je nazad, ne da, također, super. Ok, 
Okay. Dobro. Hoće li neko da podeli na brzinu? Tako je bilo. Šta ste saznali o toj drugoj osobi? Or in English, let's share what you had on your session. What you learn about other person which you find very curious about. Very short. Just a little retrospective. Anybody wants to volunteer? Okay. Nedo? I can go. Nedoli. Yeah. Biljana and I talked. Uh, Biljana and I share a similar role within our companies. Mm -hmm. And Biljana said that she was frustrated about some release going on. As, as we speak, so mm -hmm. I was curious to find out what, what was the frustration about and we kept it uh, going further towards yeah. the, the general. That's theme. great. That's great. And uh, this is the point of this question because, you know, instead of saying, uh, what's up, what's happened, you can be curious about it. Yeah. Because curiosity is one of the things which is the driver for a good coaching session. Yeah? Because people like to share those things. Okay, so thank you very much, Neda. Uh, let's move on. Um, there is a double arc of team coaching conversations. Uh, I will share this presentation with you. I will not go into the details, but I showed you here when is coaching useful on a team level and when is the coaching useful on the individual level and what I do in the stages of the sprint, right? Because there is a times where you cannot ask a questions. Yeah? There is a times when you need to deliver and do things, yeah? And in some phases of the sprint, sometimes I find it useful or not to use coaching. I switch to consultant or advisor in the times when my team needs a different kind of approach. But I start with the coaching on a sprint when I do sprint planning, because I want to ask questions. I'm curious what my teams need to do or what they think they need to do, right? So I can support them. And I do that on the end, into the retrospective, because I want to learn for a next sprint what we need to do, okay? So I will share this with you uh, on the platform or we will see the, the way, or you can write me on a LinkedIn. So this is the famous one. I, I think you saw this one uh, before on a, on a coaching. I think in Liz Atkins book, you have this as well, kind of version of it. So what I would like you to focus on when you coach a teams or individuals that sometimes we can show bias. Why? Because in the questions we ask, we have an answer on our own. So we are biased towards the driving our team to the solution because we think they need to work that way and my team or individuals in the team think that they can do differently. And the bias coming in because even if we have a similar experience and a similar positions, we are two different people, so our paths are different. So we, when we're coaching, we need to make sure that we address those biases. Uh, biases you solve by having a self-reflection. So I will show you in the next uh, few minutes what I do, and I call it self-reflecting coaching. Most often we are so wrapped up in our team issues that we forget about us. So it's very therapeutic that occasionally I self-reflect. And self-reflection means that, that I stay step back, I reflect on the situation, Specialized at work, sometimes in privately, and I take my time with myself to make sure that I am on the right way. You can think about self 
retrospective. And I do that on a daily basis because that's how I learn. As a coach, that's very important to me because it's in a highly chaotic or complex world, we need to take care about ourselves and what we do. And it's this self-reflecting coaching is very important. So what we will try, I would like you to ten, take a pen and paper now. I will show you the question and I would like you to stay in a room. I will not uh, take you away. And I want you to think about these questions very deeply. I want you to choose the situation you've been in or a session you've been in or issue or a problem you have and answer on those questions, which will be in the screen now. Okay, is that clear? So I would like you again to write down answer to those questions for yourself. It can be a session, situation, what you have in your personal life or in the work life, doesn't matter. It's only for you, you won't share it. So if you have a, a situation, you just change what session for situation. And that's the questions you ask yourself. Okay, I'll give you a, 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 a one minute more. All right. Okay, so it's outgoing work. So this is a kind of questions, uh, very short, I like to do on the end of the day. So I can learn something going forward. So let me summarize a little bit of the session. So I show you the coaching arc, the way how I structure my coaching session, both individually and the teams. The second thing is we learn about open questions, how you can start straight away asking open questions to remind you open questions of those which doesn't end with yes or no from the team member or the team. And then we, I show you the diagram, how I do during the sprint when I use the coaching on individual level or a team level, or I don't coach at all when my team needs me. So you can take that home uh, at your work. Then I talk about your needs, 
and how is important you to self-reflect as a coach, regardless of position you are or a person, so you can get out of your experience the most of it, yeah? By no means, this is all the questions. It's a very short time. Um, and I'm from Montenegro. I can talk all day. So five minutes more. I would like you to focus on uh, your challenge. For the next 14 days in your life or at work, I would like to agree something with you. In the next 14 days, I would like you to ask more and tell less. So get creative. Great, great innovation comes from the great questions. Tame your advice monster. Don't give advice to your teams. Ask them a question. Try to explore situation and issues so they can come up with their own solution. And on the end, take care of yourself because self-reflection in a coaching is a very important part of it. If you self-reflect, you will be more aware about situation around you and that will make you a better coach, better scrum master, a better product owner if you want. That's a very important part of it. So as we have a four minutes now, I will have a quick Q&A so you can ask me any questions you would like. The questions I don't or can't answer on a time, you can post me on the LinkedIn, uh, get in touch with me, and I will be gladly answer to you to the match about or to the LinkedIn. I hope you enjoyed this one, a very short for me, but I talk to you I have a question. Please. Um, so let, let's assume you are doing individual coaching. Yes. Uh, and um, so you, you, we know that the agile coach is sometimes is, is, is a teacher, sometimes a mentor, sometimes the coach. When do you, how do, how do you do the coaching? Do you start with the, with the contract and everything uh, you, you have to do and do only coaching? How do you switch? Those switches are... Uh, are uh, the role. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Okay. I think, Gordon, I understand it. That's a great question. Thank you very much for this. I am doing this for a long time. So depending on the situation, I can switch. There is a, something I want you to look at the internet. Uh, the person is called the Robert Bill, and he talks about logical levels, and he talks about something which is called identity. So in any given moment, we have 32 identities, yeah, by science. So mentor is one identity, a coach is the, the second, I don't know, brother or father or a manager is a third part as well. So depending on the situation, I can pick up identity to talk in that way. And this is when I, when I know if the coaching is two situations when I do coaching. Once, when I work with the teams who has more knowledge about subject than me. So that provokes my innovative, how can I say, push um, curiosity, right? So that's one situation. The second situation is when I know the team can deliver, even if I know solution for the problem, I ask a question so I can inspire them to come with their own solution. So this is the, there is many more, but this is the two which is dominant, right? Remember, the agile coaching is a new profession, right? So a lot of people ask us to help us with agile transformation. And because we cannot know everything, for example, I'm working now with very innovative company in some field. They're all engineers. They, they know their stuff. I am agile coach to help them work on agility, not on the technical stuff they do. 
so I can coach only ability, how they can become more agile rather than teaching them what they need to do for their project, right? So I need to stand out for it, yeah? I am, don't have IT background, but the last 11 years, I work mostly with IT teams just because IT industry is more relying on agility than others. But I see now top progressive non-IT teams going into it. So as a coach, I cannot know everything. So I need to ask the question. So paradoxically, my innovations in working with the people is that I don't know what they do. So I need to ask the questions, right? So I can help them more. I hope that uh, answers your question. Uh, yes, for the short uh, period of time, yes. I have a lot of more. <laughs> Please uh, connect to me on the LinkedIn. Yes, I, I, I heard the bell. Uh, Ivan, do yes. we have a time for one more question? or? Sure, sure. We have time for one more question. Okay. So please connect on me on the LinkedIn um, or to the matchup about. I think even they can ask me question on match about. Yeah. Yes. Uh, they can connect so, to you as well on match about. So and then send you a direct message as well. Yeah, you can send me a direct message and answer during the day or tomorrow. I usually answer in 24 to 48 hours to any questions you send me. And also we can make. Uh, a little WhatsApp group if you need to, you want to know more. I'm Agilist and I'm happy to share everything. What you need to be better in what you do. And vice versa. So any other question? So Mr. Ivan Ivanovich, famous Ivan Ivanovich. The second Ivan Ivanovich I know. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Please close the session and uh, thank you guys. Uh, you've been awesome. Sorry that uh, the time was short. I couldn't share everything with you, but I tried my best. Um, Ivan, how can I share this presentation with uh, with them? Uh, you will share it with us, and then we will send it to everyone who. who yeah. Okay. You you heard by the man. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Thank you, everyone. If there is no more questions, uh, did you thank want you to add? Thanks. Thank you. Okay. Guys. Thanks. Thank you. Thank you all for listening. Yep. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Now we will have a, a short break for about twenty minutes, uh, and then we will start with the next session here on the workshop stage. Please join us. Thank you all. Thanks. Bye-bye. Bye. 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 Bye.